Professor Hunter's Glass of Water. Professor James A. Hunter of Donghai University always had a glass of water before leading the student labor class in the morning. Well, it was not the usual outside the campus. Beyond the campus of the university lay Mount Da Du, a long plateau where a village sprawled on top. Geography prevented rain from forming pockets and streams on Mount Da Du. As a result, the village lacked water sources. Professor Hunter would often see the villagers hauling oversized barrels onto their ox carts come to fetch water from the muddy canal just outside the school gate. Professor Hunter followed them back to the village. The villagers poured all the water into one pond. They then drew from the pond to bathe, to water their crops, and to feed the animals. Ducks swam in the pond. So did the children during the summer. Pigs, dogs, cows, chickens drank from the water, while excrement flew directly into it. Professor Hunter could not believe how dirty the water was. The village chief brought Professor Hunter to the well from which the villagers get drinking water. The chief would like to get some himself and boil it back home for his guest. There was a queue by the well. The chief asked the head of the queue to make way. No, said a tired old woman. I've been in this queue long enough. My grandchildren are at home waiting for me to cook for them with the water. Professor Hunter felt embarrassed. The chief finally got the water. He boiled it and served the guest with genuine hospitality. But the water tasted bad. It was bitter, astringent, and unpleasant to drink. Professor Hunter held his discomfort and finished the glass. The sun was coming down. They heard the clang of gongs and the beating of drums. The chief asked if Professor Hunter would join him for some plays on the temple square. What plays? Professor Hunter inquired. Mosquito plays, the chief said. It was the belief of the villagers that by dedicating some yearly theater to the bloodsuckers, they could be persuaded not to bother the humans too much. Professor Hunter silently disapproved. Isn't tidying up your surroundings the best way to get rid of mosquitoes? Clean, potable water, right from the tap. It almost came as natural in the pristine confines of Donghai University. What do we do to let the people on Mount Da Du enjoy the same standard of living? Mold Professor Hunter, his students organizing the campus alongside. I think we ought to do something for our neighbors, Professor Hunter told his students. No problem, they replied. We'll sweep all the way up from the campus to outside the wall to up, up, up the hill. Professor Hunter had never laughed a heartier laugh. The students descended upon Mount Da Du and set themselves to cleaning up the village and many more. Some built pigsties, some dug gutters, and some carried the refuse and waste away. The villagers stood by and watched. They didn't understand what these young men and women were up to. At dusk, the students showed no sign of leaving. They set up an outdoor cinema on the temple square gathered the audience, and instead of mosquito plays, began projecting films on health and sanitation. One of the students provided the voiceover. Keep your environment and drinking water clean, and there won't be mosquitoes or parasites. No more feeling itchy all the time. Your poultry and livestock will grow better and sell better. Your children will grow up healthy, and the elders live long. That is how lives are improved. The villagers nodded at every single word. 
One by one, the villagers joined the students in the tasks, and then they took over. The village was now fit to be lived in, but there remained the initial problem: water. Professor Hunter's students, with the help of their schoolmates from architecture and other teachers at Donghai University, came up with a small local distribution system. They drilled a new well at the foot of Mount Da Du. Water would be electrically pumped uphill into plumbing connecting every household of the village. The system was paid for with Professor Hunter's pension. And whatever the villagers could muster. Water. The people on Mount Da Du now had access to water as clean as that enjoyed by Professor Hunter and those working and studying at Donghai University. That brought Professor Hunter to a smile. Praise the Lord, he thought. Now I can retire without regrets.